Hi guys, Cameron here and welcome to June's Hobby Vlog. Hi guys, Cameron here and welcome to July's Hobby Vlog. So, this Jesus Christ man, pick a month and finally upload it. Okay, just upload it. So, with that being said, hi guys, Cameron here and welcome to June, July, August part of September's, probably part of May's hobby vlog. Um, it has been a number of months since I have realistically done anything on YouTube, um, but it's not a number of months since I have done anything to do with the hobby. Um, my life's changed a fair bit. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Why not? So, what's happened to me? Well, this is going to be a channel update, a life update, uh, whatever update you want to say. Um, I've got the dog here loving me as I'm saying this because some of it is going to be a little bit tougher to say than others. So, what's happened in the last two years, shall we say? Well, as some of you know, because I posted about it, um, I was off to do my teacher training. Um, I wanted to become a primary school teacher. I went to university. I'd gotten into university. Um, I, I managed to do all that sort of stuff. And then things changed. Um, life changed. Um, this is tough to say. Um, I've admitted it to my friends. I've admitted it to my family. And admitting it to the world is a little bit different, though. Um so teaching is extremely hard, um, it's time consuming, it's tasking and everything and over the year um, things didn't go well and I became depressed, um, I even became suicidal and things just didn't work out so I stopped the hobby, I stopped everything, I stopped teaching and I got on some medication, went to therapy, still in therapy, still on medication and try to sort my life out. Um, and that was fine. I went back to teaching. It failed again. Um, and then I gave up on that dream. Uh, so that's why I've not been posting as much. Um, that's why I've not been doing particularly as much. Um, the stuff in the background you can see is stuff I've done over however long. This minister with stuff with the red is for a commission for my friend Matthew. Um, I fucking hate the red. Minister shouldn't have read, but everyone's heard that joke so many times from me now. Um, I really enjoy painting red, just not on bloody Minister. Um, so, yeah, I stopped the hobby. I stopped teaching. I stopped um, everything over kind of two years and tried to pick up where I needed to and do things that I needed to. Um, and it just didn't really work. And the last two months... Um, I finally got a job um, again and feel like I'm contributing and feel like I'm happy again with what I'm doing. Um, I, I've just been paid, which, you know, is absolutely fantastic and lovely. So I've actually been able to start contributing to the household bills again, um, which my, uh, which I, I, I've really needed to. But yeah, it was something that was definitely weighing down on me. Um, was I wasn't able to pay my own way particularly and do anything that I wanted to and now I'm able to. So I'm feeling in a much better place. Um, as you can see, I've been painting for the last kind of two, three months, um, trying to get different things going. Normally I talk about these, but um, I'm just going to let them play out in the background. You can see what I can do and you can either listen to this, you can mute it, you can do whatever you want. Um, it doesn't really affect me that this channel's for me, it's not really for anyone else. Um, so yeah, my life's changed a lot. Um, for the better, I think. I would like to hope it's changed for the better at least. But yeah, things have things have changed and they, they've, they've started to look up. I'm painting again, almost on a daily basis. Um, I mean, you can see all this ministerial stuff, like I said, this was done in a I don't know, a six week period where I did all this stuff for Matthew and there's still even more to come. Um, I then painted some terrain for Geek Retreat as has just 
turned up here. Um, I'm watching this as I'm doing this voiceover. Um, so yeah, it's it's life's looking better, and hopefully you're able to see me a little bit more, and I'm going to be uploading a little bit more and doing bits and bobs here, there, and everywhere for this. I've started doing various things. Um, for example, I'm well, like I say, I'm painting more. Um, I'm going to tournaments properly again. I'm enjoying them a lot more. Um, I even went over to Ireland with a couple of guys doing commissions like this one. Um, this is a massive scale thing for my old scout leader who's ex-military and wanted wanted this painted up. Um, so yeah, th things have been looking better for me and I'm doing things. I'm enjoying life more. Um, I'm able to actually have fun. Um, I'm not working constantly. I'm not doing shit that I don't want to do um, or shit that makes me feel bad. So yeah, um, everything's looking better. I'm now painting again, so hopefully I do uh, more stuff. I'm just rambling here. I know I am and um, I do apologize to everyone for that. Um, but yeah, I'm doing better. Uh, I hope you guys are because life sucks. Life really sucks, to be fair. Um, it's shit. Um, and we just got to muddle through. So for the people that have helped me, um, I'd really like to say thank you to you. Um, for everyone who's been there to kind of just listen to me, hold me while I cry. Um, my therapist, true MVP. Um, they've heard a lot of shit. Um, my friends. God, so much shit has been said over Discord. Um, so, yeah. For anyone else who's going through a little bit of a tough time, please reach out to people. Please reach out to people who um, are your friends. They're there for you. They care for you. Uh, it's, it's strange for me to say that because I was always the person people reached out to. I was never the the depressed person. I was I was always the all right one. I was I was always going to be okay. And then, well, then I wasn't. Um, <laughs> quite frankly, and uh, that that was a shocker for me. Um, so yeah, life's changed a bit. Here's Matthew being fucking gamey, making me change swords to maces and now the new rules they're going away so ha Matthew fuck you um but yeah I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm doing better um and I hope that you're all doing well yourselves it's a bit of a weird thing this you're watching Warhammer models my little toy soldiers going around in a turntable and I'm talking to a camera I'm not even talking to someone um like I say I've got the dog here but um, she doesn't normally talk back, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I suppose. Um, well, she definitely can be moody at points. But yeah, so what's going to happen going forward? Well, I, like I say, now have a new job. I'm working full-time, but it's Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, office-based job. Nothing glamorous, but uh, it, it's paying the bills and allowing me to do everything that I want to, luckily. Um, I even managed to... Uh, build Lego Rivendell, which is something that I always wanted to do, and I've bought Lego um, Baradura, I just haven't built that yet, that's sitting in the cupboard, um, waiting to be built. Uh, I, I picked that up on day one release, so actually I got the Nazgul with it as well. Here's some Osgiliath Vets that I converted for Matthew, there's more of them to come at some point, I need to paint a buttload more. Um, why raid? Why? Um, the thing is, what comes in a few maybe next, I can't remember, is Dale. And Dale looks fucking great in red. Minas Tirith should be black or very dark blue. It's like Batman. Maybe maybe grey. Um, black or really, really, really dark grey. Yeah, it's it's Dale next. Look, fucking gorgeous. Dale looks great in red. This is what it's meant to look like. This is how red should be done. It looks amazing. Matthew, you're wrong. Um, but yeah, uh... So I managed to build Lego Rivendell, that was great. I, I've got Lego Barrow, do I just need to build it? As you can see, I've painted a load of things. I painted a whole Dale army uh, in the space of like six weeks. Um, I'm now painting a fellowship um, and I've got a few other bits and bobs that I'm painting um, for commissions or tournaments or whatever. 
um, started a D&D &D group um, where I'm DMing. Um, so that's that's real nice. We're going to meet once a month. So actually you'll see a couple of the... Well, you'll see the playable characters and you'll see some NPCs um, uh, closer to the end of this video. Um, and they were really fun to paint. Painted each of them up in about the space of a day. So I don't know how many there was. 12 characters or something like that. So it took me 12 days to paint. There's a whole pirate ship to go ahead, uh, go along with them, but I haven't got photos or videos of that, unfortunately. So you'll see things for the campaigns, hopefully on a monthly basis, um, which does mean that I need to put these out uh, every month. But because we meet at the end of the month, uh, it does mean that I need to put these out on like the first of the month because it's the last Saturday. Or in fact, I could put the last Sunday because um, we meet on the last Saturday of the month. So the video could go live on the last Sunday because otherwise they get spoilers. Um, but yeah, so like I say, nine to five, Monday to Friday, started a new D and D group. Um, I have been scouting a lot, um, which is something that I have been doing an awful lot. Been going to tournaments, um, which has been absolutely lovely. I, I went over to Belfast, um, for an Irish tournament, and that was absolutely wonderful. Um, myself and three, three others of the team. Um, that's true. Um. Running a team tournament, so I'm TOing now, um, only for eight people, seven people, eight including myself, but that's something that's coming up. Um, and yeah, life's just looking a hell of a lot better. And I do apologise, this is a one take wonder, there's no script to this, there's nothing. Um, so it's a whole, whole load of shite. Oh, by the way, a lot of this deal is 3D printed. Um, in fact, a lot of this um, video will be 3D printed. 100% it's been absolutely fantastic my friend David or Paintsmith7up um, as he's known on Instagram um, oh go listen to Edwood podcast when uh, Harry Parkhill was over in Ireland David's on it it's real funny um, just to hear him uh, but yeah so he, he's got the 3D printer and he's printed off a bunch of stuff for me so it's been awfully nice uh, in fact all the D&D characters that you'll see at the end are from him um, top man, uh, appreciate that David uh, appreciate you, you've been there a lot for me listening to a whole load of shite getting me the job, so good man thank you um, fuck, where would I be without you David, like seriously you're weird um, like pff, I've known you since week one of high school fuck's sake, this has been shite for you um, but yeah, so thanks David. Uh, went over to Ireland, um, have done a couple of other tournaments, got um, one coming up for the Scottish scene, which has been, well, which is going to go well. Uh, it's a meme list based on the Fast and Furious um, franchise, which, uh, yeah, look up Alan Liddell's Fast event. Um, family always stands together or something like that is what it's called. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Life's going Life's continuing, um, and I'm I'm happy, or at least happier. I wouldn't say I'm happy uh, all the time. Certainly there's days that are bad days, and if you have them, like I say, that's all right. Reach out to someone when you can. I know it's tough. I literally know it's tough. I, I struggle to get out of bed on days. My I set myself a small goal when I was at my lowest, um, before I was on my meds and before everything had kind of settled and I'd started things. Um, and my goal was to get up out of bed and brush my teeth every day. That was it. So long as I achieved that, I I achieved my goal. Um, and I, I hid it from people. I hid it from, I'll say, the vast public. Um, some of my friends knew what I was going through, um, but not everyone. Uh, and that was... Masking is a wonderful thing when you need to. I showed up to things late. So actually, Layla, Ian Wallace, my scout leaders, I apologise to you because I always said I would come down and uh, help out um, building the hut up and I was always an hour or two late. So sorry, um, I was not going through some good things at that point. Um, I'll apologise to you in person because you don't watch these. Um, so yeah, I my goal was to get up and brush my teeth. If that's all you can do, or even if you can't do that, if you can just get up, sit up. Sometimes we're at our lowest and that sucks. So do what you can. Um, I would say reach out to me, but I'm also not the best person. Here's the D&D &D characters. 
I'm also not the best person, so reach out to who you can, okay? That'd be absolutely fantastic. But let's have a look at these. So these are spinning round. Finally, let's talk about them. That's only four. There is the NPCs. So actually, these are all PC characters of my own over the over the past however many years that I've I've had. We've got here Ruiz Tabaxi. Um, so that's a rogue. Um, we've got Lachlan's fighter. Um, uh, I think he's a drow. Kerry's Triton. Uh, I don't even know what class Kerry is actually. A warlock, I think. David's Tiefling Rogue, who is a cook um, as well. And then we've got my sorcerer or oh, centaur, Tolanos. I, I play him in Strixhaven. Thank you, Henry, and the rest of you who I play with. Genvas, my Triton uh, Warlock. Um, thank you, August, for running that campaign. Um, I love this woman to bits. And actually, here is more of her. Um, I don't know why that one's there. Did I update that one? I can't remember. Smartlander, Jamie. I'm sure I played Smartlander in your campaign, so thank you very much. Um, I appreciate that. And then we've just got a few more. But yeah, reach out to people. Please, um, reach out to them. Do what you can. Um, when you can and everyone will love you for it and yeah look after yourself i'm trying to do it to me i'm trying to be better i'm buying a fuckload of magic cards that's awful but amazing um but yeah look after yourself and do do what you can be happy when you can where you can and like i say it will hopefully get better seek the help you need i did and well it's made me hopefully better for it but i can't 100 percent agree uh, or see but yeah uh these are around seven um one of my favorite bands look them up on spotify um yeah i custom made these and painted these for them um they're absolutely fantastic i went to see them live and handed them to them um good fun good lads again david thank you for printing these um like i say check around seven out um i'm sponsored by them I'm going to claim that. Yeah, fuck it. Lachlan, sponsor me, you bitch. Thank you. I, I, I'm your DM. Do what I say. Oh, right. Shall we go back to a face shot and I'll, I'll round this out and you can have dealt with this 18-minute blabble or however long it is. You poor, poor bastards. Right, well, let's stop this and go back to a face shot. Cheers, guys. So, what is this video? An update, I'll say. Um, it's not a cry for help. I don't need your sympathies or anything in the comments, but hug your loved ones a little bit tighter. Um, check in on your loved ones, make sure they're doing okay. Um, and, and I hope you're doing okay. But yeah, um, it's it's been real, it's been tough. Uh, but that's life. Um, and luckily enough, I'm still here to, well, post shite like this, uh, to be fair. So yeah, there is June, July, August's hobby vlog. I'll give you a sneak peek of what's going to come in September. I finished this one off. This, yeah, this rock, mm -hmm. that is Frodo Baggins in his elven cloak. Mm -hmm. Bet you didn't fucking see that. Um, <laughs> you'll you'll learn why I'm doing this soon enough. Um, for, for my D&D &D lot. This is part of uh, Tomb of Annihilation, along with this. And the other night, well, the other seven, because there's nine of them total, um, that come with it. Um, you'll see that. And then, oh, this will be something as well. Um, at some point, hopefully. But, yeah. Um, hopefully, you've not watched this far. If you have, seriously, why the fuck do you bother? Um, I appreciate it. I do. I, I'm not going to do the shilling. All I'm going to say is go appreciate someone. Go tell them that you love them. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.